I took my shahada when I was about seven years old. So my father, he told me and my brother about Islam. He told us about God. He told us about the jinn, the jal, the signs of the end of the world. And I was captivated from a very young age. Originally, I was Christian. I believe we was the last of the original Christians left. We never used to eat pork. We didn't believe Jesus was God at all. These were things that we had never heard about. So I finally met my dad after many years of him being in prison and he told me about Islam. And I just used to think, hmm, well, this is what I believe. I believe there's only one God. I believe in Moses. I believe in Jesus. So I was thinking, hmm, we both believe the same thing. So I had no problem in, in taking my Shahada. And so I took my Shahada at seven years old. But as most people, we don't really take it seriously until a certain point in our life. Now, I didn't live with my dad. I didn't see him often. I lived with my mum, who was Christian. I didn't have anybody to teach me about Islam. All I knew was from the YouTube videos. <laughs> me, my brother and my cousin, we all used to watch these videos talking about the signs of the end of days. And I grew up learning about this. This was the one part of Islam that I knew very, very well. I didn't know how to pray. <laughs> I didn't read Quran, but I definitely knew the signs of the end of days. I believed Islam was the truth, but I didn't apply it to my life. I got, I got caught up in the dunya doing what everyone else was doing, following the crowd. So I was at university and you can imagine, none of my friends were Muslim. None of my friends were religious. I was all by myself. And one day, this was in 2019, I had a dream of the sun rising from the West. That dream is what brought me back to Islam. From that day, I have not had a single doubt about my religion. Now, since that dream, I thought, okay, since the end of the world is coming, I need to warn everyone. So that's why I made my TikTok. I made videos about the signs of the Day of Judgment and I did not expect them to get as big as they did. And then I became what people saw as a person of knowledge regarding the signs of the end of days. People would come to me and they would ask me many questions on it. And one of the questions that I was asked a lot was, do you think the Imam Mahdi is alive? And I always used to say, he's alive right now, but perhaps he doesn't know that he's Imam Mahdi. And I had no idea where this guy was at the time. I had no idea who he was, or where he lived or anything like that. But I had a feeling that he was there. And I was right. <laughs> so when I, when I found, when I came across Muhammad Qasim and his videos, I, I looked at him and I just thought, yeah, this guy looks like the Imam Mahdi. He looks how I imagined him to look. Allahu alam, how I recognized him, but the moment I saw him, I was like, yeah. So then I thought, okay, we can't just accept him based on his looks, right? <laughs> Let me listen to what the guy has to say. So I listened to his message and he spoke about shuk and its forms. And I was like, hmm. So he looks like the Imam Mahdi. He speaks like the Imam Mahdi. But I still wasn't 100% sure. And this this was all in the matter of days of finding out about him. I didn't, unlike the other people who had to wait a very, very long time for all the dreams to come true. I, I would say I, <laughs> I, I accepted it very, very quickly because it it's very obvious. It's very obvious that he is the Imam Mahdi. It's very, very obvious. I always felt this feeling that the Imam Mahdi would be associated with the colour green. Now this is not from any hadith. 
This is not from any book. This is not from any verse in the Quran. This was a feeling that I had inside. I always felt that Imam Mahdi would be associated with the color green. And so I was debating, I was thinking, is this guy the Imam Mahdi or not? I need to see a sign. So I said to myself, I'm going to click on his video right now. If I see the color green, I will know that he's the Imam Mahdi. <laughs> so I clicked on the video and he had a green shirt and, and his YouTube channel was green and he comes from Pakistan <laughs> and the Pakistan flag is green. <laughs> And so I spoke to Brother Nasser and he told me, yeah, it's his favourite colour. <laughs> so I was like, wow, <laughs> subhanAllah. I recognised him. I recognised him very, very quickly. And it's very obvious. I say it's very obvious that this man is telling the truth. And it's very obvious that this man is being guided by Allah. And I just wondered, like, why can no one else recognise him? How did I recognize him so easily? I looked at him and said, yeah. And I thought to myself, why, why, why? Still to this day, Allah knows. Allah knows why. But perhaps maybe the souls in the pre-existence, maybe they knew each other. Maybe that's why we all recognize each other. You know, the, the brotherhood that we all have, me and the helpers, Salat, Nizan, <laughs> Brother Nasr. Um It's just, it's very strong. And we're all from different parts of the world. <laughs> We've never even met each other. So I think definitely we all knew each other in the pre-existence. We had to. <laughs> we had to. I originally found out about Muhammad Qasim when I saw the Mufti Menk video. <laughs> I saw somebody said, you know, about the AI video. And I was like, what, are you serious? Did someone really do this? And I was really thinking, hmm, yeah, okay. Although that video might be fake, what if what is being said is actually true? There was this one voice at the back of my head that told me he might be the real one. And it was at that moment where, it was at that moment where Mufti Menk said, this is laughable. When he said that, I just thought, hmm, perhaps he might be making a mistake on this. So I went and I did my research. And the more and more that I searched, the more and more I was convinced. And I noticed that Muhammad Qasim himself never claimed to be Imam Mahdi. He himself said he will never make that claim. Then I realized, yeah, this is him. This is the one.